Welcome to the lab. This is Marcus. I'm Al. We are joined by our brother Gabe. What's up, fellas? What's going on? What's going on, guys? Chilling like a villain. Well, hey, let's get right on into it today, fellas. I was uh, scrolling through TikTok. Found this clip Bird. I wanted to... Uh, just to get you guys' take on this particular clip with Kevin Hart. I have two clips. We're going to start off with the Kevin Hart one first. Oh. But I have no choice. All-Star Weekend in Toronto. Steph Curry, he says, Kevin, come here. He lifts up his arm. The man had mechanical shit in his arm. Wires and shit. He's a robot. He's not real. <laughs> so, did that caption say the last the last video before a car accident? I know he was in a pretty bad accident. It was like a couple years ago, right? So basically they're, they're, they're saying, now, you know, this is all alleged. I won't, no. you know, we won't say that this is all true, but they're saying that Kevin Hart has been cloned. There are several Hollywood actors and actresses who are clones, supposedly, who have uh, passed a while back and they're clones. Kevin Hart no. happens to be one of them. Uh, they said Bernie Mac was trying to, um, expose what they were doing to clones, which is what got him killed. Mm. Uh, um, they say Kanye West is a clone. Oh yeah. 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 yeah there's little Kanye man. and there's big Kanye. And Gucci man. Man. Oddly enough. Hey, you know, we're, we'll, we'll touch on this Only subject Gucci. again, but remember how we touched on, you know, Damar Hamlin, mm -hmm. you know, there's talks that he's a clone too. You know, but they, they, they were saying that a lot of these athletes are robots, which is, I guess, I guess it's not hard to believe. Uh, I don't know. I mean, how, how, how true, how true, how true can it be? I, mean, I don't know, man. I don't know. I don't know. I mean, I we're talking know. about like science fiction or like. I'll say this. It's not like it's impossible. But with that being said, it is very hard to like back it or, you know, believe it fully. Like, seeing where you know, they made is... enough movies. Yeah. They made enough movies depicting this kind of thing to where if you can make a movie depicting it, then I'm pretty sure somebody's capable of that technology. Mm -hmm. With that said, what's the, what would be the purpose of it, though? That's my thing. Like, well, the, the purpose would be to conceal something, but what are they, what are they concealing? Exactly. Yeah. Like, what, what is but the I purpose? Mean, right. What is the purpose of these right. clones? If Kevin Hart is a clone, like what's the purpose of cloning Kevin Hart? Like nothing against Kevin. I think he's fantastic, but it's like, why though? You know what I mean? Like would the world be like in an uproar if like Kevin Hart was the past? Like, would it be like the world? You know what I mean? Like when Michael Jackson died, like the world stopped. You know what I mean? Would it be we'll something say, like that? We'll say Michael Jackson was murdered. But we'll move right. on from My that. Bad. I'm sorry. He was murdered. Correction. Mike was murdered. I guess Fucking we're going to we're gonna visit with that Hart, some with, other with time. Kevin huh? Hart, with Kevin Hart, yeah, we will. We most certainly will. With Kevin Hart, and who King. do you think is funny? Him or Cat Williams? Cat Williams. No, now, quick, why do you I think almost you couldn't even get it out? Cat Williams you know, is by far a funnier but comedian. Yet, Kevin Hart is more mainstream than Cat Williams. Because after what is it, uh, Chronicles of Pimpin? Yeah, which Pimpin was Chronicles, phenomenal. Yeah. You know, but he, you remember, he was saying too much in there though. He, he was, was talking about out. Hollywood, he, yeah, the Hollywood parties and executives like doing drugs right in front of you. Mm -hmm. okay, you and not only drugs. No, I can see you. <laughs> I think I think he was bringing up a lot of the pedophile shit too. Yeah. yeah. Now you see where Kevin Hart came on the rise and out of nowhere, and look at all the success he's having. Mm -hmm. He definitely blew up. Rumor is with a lot of the rumor and is the with contemporaries. A lot of these, oh yes, oh yes. Because they're yes. in the same. They were both on that same path, and then Kevin's. His star rose, but there's an interview with Cat Williams. I think it was for Scary Movie 3 or 4, whichever one that he's in. And he's doing a promotion for it. And he was talking about the Illuminati. And it's like, if they don't, if you don't play ball, like, they're, they're going to destroy you, essentially. 
And he was talking about on a different interview, he was talking about Dave Chappelle and what happened with him, how that narrative started of him smoking crack. Like he went to Africa and smoked crack. And he's like, he passed mm -hmm. all, like he passed Baltimore, he passed New York, he passed Cali. And he went to Africa to get crack. And it's like, <laughs> uh, he was just breaking, like, bro, you listen to Kat's interviews. It's like, every time he's talking about stuff, he's only spitting game. But think about the narrative that's out there about him. He's fighting kids. He's in target fighting people. He's this, he's a menace. He said that they were systematically destroying him. And like, I think that's proof. The dude is super talented. You know what I mean? Like, I don't, and there are certain your point, things, I don't understand it. And there are certain things, certain cats aren't willing to do. Cause take, um, what was our man? Debo, mm -hmm. a man who played Debo. Mm -hmm. He told he he told you straight out he was the most feared man in Hollywood. Why? Because he would never put on a dress. You could never talk Facts. him into putting on a dress. You God could rest never his talk soul, him. Man. Amen. R.I.P. You could never talk him into doing anything that went against God. He said all those motherfuckers in Hollywood. You know, I've tried to, you know, point certain things out. You see a lot of these motherfuckers in a dress. Look at every Kevin man Hart. that is put on, put yeah, on Kevin Hart. Kevin, oh, yeah, that's not only mm -hmm. every man that is put on a dress or dressed like a woman. Look at the the amount of success they've had, including our mm -hmm. boy Jonathan Majors, dressing up like a woman. It was it was a GQ magazine? I forget what really? magazine it is. Wearing some, yeah, man. Yeah, man, got all all these dudes yeah. dressing up like broads, wearing a skirt. I don't skirt. think Dave Chappelle ever has. I know he was in Robin Hood Men in Tights where he had the tights on. Yeah, that's different. I don't different. think that's the same thing. Yeah, you know what I mean, I think Chappelle might be the one person. And like Denzel or something like that. I don't think Denzel's ever wore a dress. I've never Me seen either. him a dress. Yeah. I can almost, yeah, I've never seen him. Or Sam Jackson. I mean, he had the kilt on in that one movie. And he has the braids. Mm -hmm. Now, is yeah, that considered different. a dress, then, though? Um, I, well, it's a, it's a, what's it, a Scottish kilt. Like, that's a, that's a male dress. Yeah, like, it is what it is. A kilt. You know, it's not a skirt. Yeah, it's, it's a kilt. A kilt. <laughs> it's a kilt. <laughs> and um, Sam, Sam and um, I don't know about Morgan Freeman either. Like, I haven't, I, I haven't Morgan seen him. so old yeah. for so long. It's like, oh, I that's true. This old man He's been old for a long movie. time. Literally, literally my whole life he just seems like he's looked like that 37 years i'm like he's looked exactly like that <laughs> hey morgan freeman banging his uh his his like stepdaughter or grandchild or i think it was he his raised. i think it was his stepdaughter yeah he's like he's, he's on the, that he's, woody he's, allen he's, he's on that woody allen, woody allen he's the black woody yeah. allen yeah, wow. it's a woody shame allen to say but uh you know they said that Chappelle when he went on to the africa trip Mm -hmm. That's when he was murdered and cloned. Because mm -hmm. with some of these folks, they were physically, they said The Rock died back in 2006 and that he's a clone. Who else is a clone? Who, who else is they claiming is a clone? There are so many of these motherfuckers that are claiming are clones that this robot shit, as comical as it is, I'm like, yeah, you know, who knows? I mean, seeing the direction AI is going, see, dude, I have seen clips of where this person starts off as a black lady mm -hmm. and when you start peeling everything back it's a fucking white chick mm. yeah they have they've gotten good with with makeup where they they could give you prosthetics yeah. and stuff and you're talking with a mask on it looks like your face makeup. it looks like your face yeah. makeup will look like yeah. you look like a completely different person yeah, Some so of these you can makeup tutorials, you can you'll look like a completely different person. Yeah, you can have somebody that's black saying all sorts of shit that they're not supposed to say when they're really white on the inside. I'll say this to the robot point. I don't, like I said, I don't think it's true, but I think about a cat like Kawhi Leonard. Yep. He's a little bit robotic. He's a little bit of a robot. Not there, were certain guys, there, there were certain guys, there were certain guys when you look at them, they're like, and then they were like showing clips of guys like glitches yeah. during real Ooh, life games. Did you see, did you see that, um, that Katy Perry yes. thing? Where yes. Her eyes, where her yes. eyes yes. all the way and down. She does and this. Then... 
Yeah. And she does this, and yes. then she resets. You see, that's, that was that's, weird. That's why I'm like, that, I don't know. I don't know. That was a little bit. Yeah, that was a little bit much. Like, uh, I, yeah. Again, not to say that this know. stuff is true, but, you know, it just leaves a little something to the imagination. Yeah. Now, it's stick it to the Hollywood. Yeah. Stick it to the Hollywood. Another another clip on TikTok. Moving on. Okay. Uh, this involves Mr. Washington. Mm-hmm. Mr. Isaiah Washington. Was that his first name? Everything that comes out of this brother's mouth is real. Real talk. We're doing the I film. stuck my hand under this table and grabbed your inner thigh. Oh, no, sir. How would you respond? With a respectful left hook. Thank you. <laughs> Respectfully. Oh, I have had many people just go under the restaurant tables and grab my inner thigh, and oh, I wow. would go, hey, hey, hey. Hollywood. And they would look at me and go, hey, make my makeup artist on True Crime. Wow. He looked just like Morgan Freeman. That's the scariest thing. <laughs> I wish you'd come up here and say I'm lying. Wow. I'm so tired of these fools. The fact that they have power. When I pick a job or a role, I want to be educated, so therefore I can help educate you guys. Absolutely. I've been an activist and educator from day one. Every role that I want to change minds and hearts or educate you or raise your level of thought about how you look at a melanated man, which is being portrayed by me. Ooh. So when I went there, I went there to say no. But the director quit because I was going to tell him that I cannot play this role subjugated because yes. that goes against Neely Fuller Jr. Come on, come on. With the power of imagery. Neely Fuller Jr. Come on, research. Okay, that goes against everything he said. Come on. For entertainment. Come, no, can, can I read? Okay. See, you see this, is, page, this is the you problem. You can go to page 81. This right here. You can go to page 57. Or you go to page 145. I've been reading that since 1991. Wow. This, ladies and gentlemen, is the basis of my entire career. This has had me slapping so-called white man in Crooklyn. <laughs> and be loved for it. <laughs> All right. Mm. So, yeah, basically. With a respectful left hook. <laughs> oh, yes. I like you know, that. That was yeah, classic. I, I like love that. that. Wow. And that's true. I yeah, the, the that. gentleman's <laughs> name, that, that gentleman's name yeah, is Riza. Facts. Riza Islam, if I'm not mistaken. Hopefully I'm not okay. mistaken. I got to like him. Yeah, look yeah, at him. Like him my man spits nothing but real talk. We have other clips that we're going to pull of him in future uh, episodes. The guy's mm-hmm. super smart. Cool. Basically, you see where my man is saying how they move in Hollywood. You know, they want you mm-hmm. to do what they want to do. Uh-huh. And I mean, Brandon Frazier recently came out with how he was done throughout Hollywood. Because, you know, we were all wondering where Brandon Yeah, went. he disappeared. And now we yeah, found exactly. out that, you know, now we found out why. Terry uh-huh. Crews is another yeah. one. Uh-huh. Letting us know how these motherfuckers in Hollywood are. If you're not down with the, uh, you know, how do, how, do, how do I put this? Put? If you're not down with the gay shit, you know, you ain't going to be down with Hollywood. Almost falls yeah. into that line, you know, where with Robert Downey and Tropic Thunder. You know, it's Hollywood, man. Everybody's gay every now and again. Man, everyone's gay once in a while. Oh. Terry Crews got shit off of that, too, man. Yeah, absolutely. So they were like, oh, you should have done something. It was like... I was sexually assaulted by Adam Bennett, who was the head of the motion picture department at William Morris Endeavor. I don't know if... I understand, like, that thought, but, like, I don't know, man. In that position, like, what, you know what I mean? Like, what are you supposed to do? Like, exactly. your career is done. If that, You know what I mean? If that's, if, I don't know. This is one of those things, man. It's not, I'm not shocked to hear Isaiah speaking like that. I feel like that's definitely a part of it, but mm-hmm. it's unfortunate because it should the be game, the game. just about the talent. The game of Hollywood is gross. And, I, you know, I, you know, Mark is going, going speaking of, the industry in Hollywood and such. I think I'm almost glad that we never went anywhere with our music. Because mm-hmm. number one, I don't see you or I sacrificing anyone. No. I don't see you or I giving up our booty hole to anyone. <laughs> so, like, that cool, great. You know, I'm kind of just there. Yeah, we just had the. We had to just go on talent. And well, that's the way. That's the way it should be. Talent it should be. Yeah. That yeah. Should, yeah. That yeah. should be the only thing. But yeah, it's really unfortunate, man. Because there's so many stories of like people that have been done dirty, and like they just like Dave said, they just disappear. And you're like, especially what if you work, especially if you talented. work with Puff Daddy. 
Don't work with Puff Daddy. You end up at you, you you'll either end up broke or dead. Don't fuck with or Puff Daddy. Or you going straight to God. Like, you know that, what I'm saying? That, that, that bad, huh? Oh man, Ooh, but yes, oh, you know, yeah. moving on. Yeah, man. Mm -hmm. but moving on. R.I.P. Tina Turner. Yeah. R.I.P. R.I.P. Jim Brown. Mm. Yeah. Crazy man. He's in the R.I.P. Our man. boy. Uh, what was the name again, Marcus? From the Punisher. So, Ray Stevenson. Ray Stevenson. Losing a lot mm -hmm. of the greats, man. That's three. You see, you know, they say it happens in threes, man. Yeah. That's three. No. Yeah. That's Jim three. Brown did so much, man. Outside of just the football, like his oh, activism, as an activist, yeah, the social justice, like Jim Brown, like he took a lot of bullets so that we could be where we are. Granted, we're not close to where we should be, but it was a lot worse in his time. And like he stood behind Muhammad Ali and his decision. To, you know what I mean? To not go to Vietnam. Like, and Jim Brown one of the was few, like, one of the few dude. black activists. Yeah, one of the mm -hmm. few black activists to not sell out to the white regime. No. One of the few. And he retired right. young because he just yeah. felt like it. <laughs> he's arguably the greatest. A lot of people would argue he's the greatest running back ever. God, well. He would have yeah. watched him would argue that. Mm hmm. And it'd be a strong he's, argument too because he was a no. beast. He was yeah, a beast. you look at his numbers, look at his tape. Yeah, and he's inarguably one of the greatest, if not the greatest. So, yeah, man. And That's Tina Turner, to... my God, man. Oh, Tina. Yeah, yeah that is yeah, heavy, man. She said, you know. She had great legs, boy. That yeah. woman had great legs. Great married, legs. bro. Freaking yeah. legend, man. Jeez. Yeah, that one, like, that one shocked me, just like the Jim Brown one, like. She was only, what, 83, 82, yeah. 83 years old? Yeah. Did they happen to mention how or, you know, how she died, or? We don't know yet. They, I saw something about it where they said that she's been battling an illness. They didn't, like, disclose what it was. Mm -hmm. Because I guess because it's so fresh, but they said that she, she's been battling something. But I guess we'll know in the next few days or weeks. Yeah, man. Condolences she was to their families. She, yeah, she was a legend. Is I Ike loved her still alive? Or did Ike die? I thought he, I thought he passed already, you know, bro. I thought he did. I could, I could be wrong. That's he a was a monster. I think, I'd like to think he's dead. I, I would hope so. Because he was a but monster. Scumbags, scumbags usually make it out, but I'd like to think he's dead. Yeah. I don't know if we can fact check that real quick while we're on here, but. Man, I'd like Tina, to think yeah, he's he dead. he yeah, Tina, he Tina died was in, in no uh, December twelfth, two thousand seven. Okay. No, oh, okay. You know one of my favorite Tina Turner songs is the one she did for Mad Max, the Thunderdome song. Oh, oh I forgot yes, she was in, in in Mad Max. Yeah, I was gonna bring that, that up. That's oh, right. I was bring she that was up. in Mad Max. That was my banger, man. Love that. Oh, loved that song. Loved it. Yeah. That was a great song by Tina. And our boy, Mr. Stevenson, man. Uh, Punisher he was so Warzone. Young. Yeah, he was. He was, was 63. So, I, I think he was, he was in his, his 50s. 50s. I thought he was like in his like, I think he's like 54 or 53. I like he, he was really young, man. Mm. Like, oh. And he, yeah, Punisher, he was a thrower. Like he's been in a bunch of stuff that like people would know him from. Oh, but dude, like, uh, I, I the, always... the movie, mm. the movie with uh, Will Ferrell and uh, that racist Mark Wahlberg, the other guys. Oh, oh, that is him and the other guys. Yeah, oh, buddy. Man. Yeah, Love buddy. That movie. The shark. Oh, that didn't go the way you thought it did. <laughs> <laughs> did, you? did it? What movie was that one? Uh, the other oh, guys. The, oh, the other okay. guys. Yes, where Mark Wahlberg and uh. Will hey, Ferrell, the yeah. cops. Mm -hmm. I yeah, wanted the spinoff. I wanted the spinoff with uh, Sam Jackson and The Rock. We needed that spinoff because we, we needed it. the arrogance that they jumped off that building with, bro. <laughs> I was like, these dudes really thought like they was going, oh, aim for the bush. Like, really? Like, what bush would he use? What is happening? 
It's like, what is, what is happening? Yeah, they, they, like, they, they had to be smoking something because... And the way they were talking about it at the funeral, was like, why would they do that? Yeah. Why would they jump out there? And what's his name? Michael Keaton was gold in that movie, bro. As the, yes. uh, the captain. Gold. Yes, he was. Like committed gold. What the TLC references? I don't know what oh, you're about. Like, I, have, I have no <laughs> recollection. Don't go chasing waterfalls, now I, guys. Now I gotta rewatch that movie, man. Do me a favor. Don't go chasing waterfalls. Is that accidental or were you trying to quote TLC on purpose? Is that, uh, you got a creep? This? He got a creep. creep. Real quiet. You got a creep. It's creep. Come on. You don't say creep, creep unless you're quoting TLC. <laughs> and he did it the third time. He's like, why would you say it third time? He's like, you're down for the song. <laughs> Oh, I fucking love oh, that movie. Oh, man. Ray, yeah, man. He was, I thought he was the definitive Punisher, too. Like, love um, John Barenthal from The Walking Dead fame and the Punisher Netflix. But Punisher Warzone, like, I was like, this is probably the most accurate depiction of what the Punisher is. In the that movie was made for the fans, specifically made like, for the Like, the brutality fans. of it yeah. was a lot. Yeah. And that made perfect sense because, like, Punisher gets down just like that. Yes. Because I love how my man has that dude cuffed in the kitchen. Mm. Frank mm. walks in, shoots him right in the head. And my man's like, God damn it, Frank. Yeah. And just walks the <laughs> fuck away. And, I'm like, and he's what? holding the baby girl. Like, mm -hmm. He got baby girl in his arm, <laughs> one arm. He shoots his face off of the other. Yeah. And, bro, that that opening scene and the... In the dining room, yes. Where he was, where he killed all of them. Like he twisted old girl's head around. I'm like, oh my god. Mm. That, yeah, that's that's yeah. That's he he, he that was. wasn't even showing any type of emotion either, man. He just he just went to work. Mm -mm. Uh. Yeah, and it's uh, not for the faint of heart. Like Punisher, like he he gets busy. Like yes, he does. That's why I'm like excited to see like with Deadpool coming to the MCU, and he bring Punisher and Deadpool. Like, I'm excited to see the two of them like work together because that's going to be really graphic. Yes, it is, and funny. The Punisher yeah, John don't have as, as much as I love Stevenson and Punisher Warzone, I mean John Barathon mm. could easily play that role too. He's I think the I think the um it's official that he's coming back. Oh, Punisher. it is. Yeah, yeah. Is that, there's, a, yeah there's a new yeah. season coming out. Awesome. Yeah, I'm excited. I'm, so too. Excited. I'm excited oh, for that. Yeah. Daredevil. Yeah. I'm excited. Secret War, Secret Invasion should be starting like mm -hmm. this month or next month coming. And there's there another one. There's another one, Asian one, an Asian one. That deals with the uh, yeah. like Shang Chi related. But it's coming soon to Disney. But I know it's uh Okay. What is it like another Marvel tech? Yeah, 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 yeah. It'll be coming out on Disney Plus. It's related to Shang Chi. But it's not the I I know I think I know what you're talking about, I just can't remember it either. And our girl that uh, just won all these awards for the things that she's been in, she's in it. Cause you know she's in Shang Chi mm. as well. Michelle, oh, uh, um, Michelle, I, uh, Michelle, you, you, yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. We'll just say Michelle. Yeah, she did <laughs> for that. Um, anything or everywhere, all at once. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That, mm. that movie. I haven't uh -huh. seen that yet, but I want to. You know, I want to watch it. I want. I want. Along in the been talk world. that Blade's coming, but when are they gonna? Okay. That, when are they gonna spit that out too? The the that uh, the Blade started uh, soon. Remix. But aren't the, aren't the writers on strike right now? Yeah. Like the, in Hollywood. Hey. So I think that's yeah, like that could be a, a lot of Hey, Marcus, perfect mm. time for us to come in as the replacements. <laughs> hey. Perfect. To, hey, dude. Listen. Because you remember the last writer strike birthed fucking reality TV, which was like the worst mm -hmm. TV ever. Hey, yeah. it, got, it got ratings, I though. Mean, yeah, because there was nothing else to watch. This is our chance, bro. A, I just feel like what the writers are asking for is like, it makes sense. It's like, they're the reason that these movies and these shows are successful or they're mm -hmm. worth watching. 
is they're the ones that are writing the content, writing the material. So they should get compensated for that. Like, I don't understand like why that would be a thing. You know? Yeah, me neither. Like, why wouldn't fair compensation already just be? So I'm saying, man, humanity is weird like that, bro. Like, everybody's so goddamn greedy. It's so weird. <laughs> I was like, there's not enough for everybody to have some. I don't know. There's, there's, there's plenty of meat on the bowl for that, man. Yeah. It's like, come on, man. And it only hurts yeah, everybody. Yeah. Like, nobody benefits from it. So it's nope. like, whatever. It's stupid. But yeah, yeah RIP sure to, the, to all three Jim of them. Brown. Yeah. Tina. Ray Stevenson. Thanks. Very, moving very on, much so. let's, let's get on to a lighter topic. Sports with El Marquez. Yes, now, before you start your segment, Marcus, mm -hmm. there is a clip I wanted to pull up for this right. particular sports segment involving our boy, Jimmy B. Mm -hmm. Please, Jimmy the Butler, no more. We're so full, we can't eat any more L's. But I haven't served you feds yet. Have some mercy. Look what you did to Grant. I think he's dead. I think he's still hungry. Have some more. Oh, gosh. Mm, you love when Jimmy serves you else. Yes. Oh, God. <laughs> Looks like it's time for Jimmy the butler to get the broom. <laughs> I love it. I would have loved the sweep, man. I would have definitely loved the sweep. But it's that all good. That would have been, that would have been great. I, I don't, I mean, yeah. they're in Boston now. I think the game's going on as we speak. Mm. I don't think as they're doing too well. As of this recording. We're not doing well in game five, but as, as we started, I know it was half when they were down, I think roughly 17. My prediction is this, get it close enough by the end of the third, get it within 10, you can take it. Regardless, I'm over people talking about the Boston Celtics, like, oh, they're a more talented team. They're going to come, they, they could do this. Like their, their history could be made. It's like. <laughs> What are you talking about? Like, they're clearly not more that much more talented if Miami's beaten them three times in a row. Miami took them to seven last year with Jimmy Butler missing, or not missing, but hurt for three games. Clearly, clearly labored, and they took them to seven with this super talented Boston team. I'm like, okay, I get it. Jason Tatum, Jalen Brown, both fantastic players. I got nothing. Who else on that roster is like, oh, they're so talented. No, they're built well. <laughs> like, Malcolm Brogdon's a cool player. Marcus Smart is a cool player. He thinks that, I think Marcus Smart plays, he plays like most people probably would think in their mind, like, yo, I can go get 25s. But like, mm -hmm. his game don't show that, though. No. Like, some of the stuff and he he's does. dirty, too. Oh, yeah. And then, like, with Jason Tatum, is like, they keep on this, oh, he, you know, he's young. Bro, I know he's only 25 years old. He's been in the league seven years, six, seven years. He ain't that goddamn young. He's got a mm -hmm. lot of experience. They're always in the playoffs. They're always seemingly in the semis or the conference finals. Or last year, they were in the finals. Like, I'm over this, like, this narrative that, like, Boston's this fucking superpower. Like, I'm over that. I don't and see not. it. And Jason you know, Tatum and Jalen Brown, they're, like, redundant. As much as I love both of them, they're redundant to have that player. You literally have the same player. Like, they both do the same things. It's like they don't complement each other. And, like, people want to bring up the Pippen and Jordan thing. That was a completely different era of basketball, one. Two, mm -hmm. those two actually mm -hmm. did complement each other. Yes, they did. Because Pippen was a phenomenal passer. Yep. A phenomenal playmaker. Jason Tatum, Jalen Brown, neither one of them are fairly, they're both decent play well jason tatum's a fairly good playmaker Jalen brown i don't know what the hell's going on when he dribbles i don't understand <laughs> it and like as good as he is it's so weird bro like the turnovers and stuff so i i don't i know when they lose the series because i'm calling it if it's not tonight game five it will be game six it's not going seven when they lose There'll be this talk of like, oh, they need to break them up. Oh, they need to do this. Like, yeah, that's cool. If you're going to get equal value, you're, that's a second team all NBA player in Jalen Brown. If I have what you need per se, why the hell would I give it to you if I'm another team? Mm -hmm. 
You know what I mean? I want more than Jalen Brown. Like they were like, oh, Dame Lillard. Dame Lillard would be perfect in Boston because he's a playmaker and like yeah. he's a closer. But if you're giving me Jalen Brown, no, I need more than Jalen Brown. And I don't know if there's anybody else on that Celtics roster. I'm like, I need that player too. Like yeah. Grant Williams can shoot threes well. I love Time Lord. I will say that's another person I forgot. Robert Williams, I love him. He gets injured a lot, but I love his game and what he. Because, you know, he's just like big man that rebounds, block shots, you know, lob threat. Like, he's just like a utility piece, kind of like that. Yes. But I'm sorry to, like, keep rambling, but I'm over this narrative that like, Boston's just, like, fucking superpower. Like, they're the damn 2017 Warriors or something. Like, let's get and over it. And they're not. And they're, they're not. They're really not. They're good. And Miami is clearly probably a step below them, but not even that much of a step. Because I would argue that Jimmy Butler is a better player than Jason Tatum. At least in the playoffs, he is. Yes. You, you get no and that's argument nothing against Jason Tatum. Yep. And that's nothing against Jason Tatum. Like, I think Jason Tatum is fantastic as well. But I'm like, Jimmy's game goes to another level. And like, okay, you got Jimmy and, you know, Jason Tatum, Jalen Brown, and then Bam would be the fourth best player in the series to me. And then it's just pick your poison. Like, is it Max Struess? Was it Marcus Smart? Like, I don't know. You know what I mean? Like, mm-hmm. like the talent disparity is not that big. And they keep on this, oh, they got seven undrafted players. Clearly, these dudes can hoop. Because they nobody in the NBA can't play basketball. So let's just get over that nonsense, too. Everybody that plays in the NBA can play basketball. And if they were undrafted, then that clearly shows that people make mistakes. We've seen yeah. undrafted dudes in all of some leagues, all sports, go crazy in their sport. Mm-hmm. Because people, bro, bro. I'm sorry to like jump off like a different analogy. Patrick Mahomes didn't go number one. No. Patrick Mahomes might be the best quarterback we've ever seen. Yes. The best quarterback to ever play. Tom Brady was picked in the sixth round. So this is clearly not like 100%, you know, we get it right all the time. Like shit happens. And the M- and the NBA draft is even shorter because it's only two rounds. So... The two rounds, 30, what, 30 teams, 60 some odd picks. This, you know what I mean? How mm-hmm. many colleges are in the country and international players? You know what I mean? Like, there's, there's a lot of reasons cats go undrafted. Nikola Jokic, who we're about to talk about in a minute with Denver, he was a second round pick. This dude is one of the best centers to ever play basketball, bro. And he was and picked in the second round and should have been know? the MVP. Yeah. The MVP Respect should not have gone. The MVP should not have gone to Joel Embiid. It should have went to, to Jokic. Between Joel Embiid crying about getting the MVP and Kendrick Perkins starting that all um, that narrative about race, that's what got <laughs> Joel Embiid that award. Because if you look at mm-hmm. Jokic's numbers, bro, like I understand they were like weird about giving three straight to somebody, but think about it. Michael Jordan in his era was the greatest basketball player. He's the greatest player to ever play still. But he was the greatest player in the league when he was in the league. Yep. And he didn't win every P every year. There was a year, was it 96, 97, where they gave it to Carl Malone? And you Ugh. looked at their numbers and it's like, really? Mm-hmm. I don't even, I don't even, like, I got a fact check, but I don't know that he won MVP the 72 win year. So it's like, that award is, it's, it, it's losing some of his merit because, like, as good as Joel played this year, bro, Jokic is clearly the best center in the league. He was a second team All NBA. Yeah. Because Joel won MVP, which is crazy. <laughs> now, I know going into next year, they're going to get rid of the position. So, like, it's just the five best, his first team, you know, the next five is second, third. But uh, okay. I don't know, man. That's just, it's weird. You know, now, since I've started talking about Nikola Jokic, Ew, shout out to the Denver man, Nuggets. Yes. Congratulations for their I'm first finals. See, I'm glad to see LeBron lose. <laughs> so glad to see LeBron lose. I kind of was a little bit too. I, just, I was I happy to see his <laughs> bitch ass lose. I'm not a do Laker fan, all the, Do you see all the flopping that bastard does? The and he's the king. A flop. And oh, he's, he's the greatest? A- He's definitely a flop artist. But I mean, everybody in the league be flopping at this point, but it's it's weird. Because some of the stuff I watch LeBron do, and I'm just like, come on, bro. But you really you think you were going to get away shot. with that? 
You know? like he thought he got shot by a cannon, bro. Like some of these fly, like it was one play in the series. He got hit and like literally like slid across the court. I was like, you yeah. know, for nothing. Like, and he was, bar- he was barely touched. He was barely so touched. He's saying that he's like, faking he just, it. He... Faking oh, the yeah, He's a big faker. Yeah, yeah, looking to the ref <laughs> crying. Oh, help, help me, help me. Sound man. like that bitch from New York. Help me, help me. But, like, in reality, man, it's just one of those things. It's like, as good as the Lakers were after those trades and everything, Denver is they're just a better team, man. And All the way through. I know, like, you're not big on LeBron, but I want to give LeBron his flowers in this sense. For a closeout in game four, dude went berserk in that first half, and he got almost no help from anybody else. Like, we got to remember LeBron, this is year 20, 38 years old. If he, like, I've been saying it for the last two years. Well, the last, well, yeah, since they won the bubble championship. If LeBron's got to carry you, you're not going nowhere. No. At this point. And that's nothing against him. It's like age is caught up. He needs somebody that can take, you know what I mean? Take the baton and, and go. Anthony Davis has got all the talent in the world. But I don't but know. He doesn't. It don't seem he like. He just shows don't up seem whenever. Like he got that dog. Like he no. don't seem like he got that dog in him. It's what it, it how, just don't seem many, like. And you know, for LeBron, you know, for LeBron to win a championship, he needs one or two other All Stars to help. And he needs some shooting, you know. And now, like the whole thing is like, are they gonna go after Kyrie? But it's like, I don't think that you should blow up this roster because you really only got after after the trade deadline and the playoffs with this team. So they. They gelled really well, considering, bro, considering where they started the season with the two and 10 record and like them being the 13th seed at one point and they made the trades mm-hmm. and to them to get to the conference finals. Like, I thought this was a successful season, considering how this season started for them and where they were. And that Sakamura, whatever his name, Hachimura, Sakamura. Oh, Rui? Rui's yeah, nice, yeah. man. Yeah, man. Rui he's a like top very, 10 pick, bro. Yeah, when he, he came very out, he's well. a top 10 pick. Oh, was it? Uh, Austin Reeves. Yeah, Austin Reeves did his thing, too. Yes, he, got, he did. And they're both up for contracts. It was like, would you really want to, like, I'll say D'Angelo Russell, you could probably piece him out because he was unplayable at points. Because if he's not scoring, he's not doing anything. It was his defense, <laughs> bro. It was like, what is it, like one of those, um, those red cones? <laughs> the, the, the stop he's cones. Right, like, he's, right, yeah. He's, and there's, hey, listen, I love D'Angelo. There's no disrespect, but it's clear and obvious. Like, his defense is not his strong suit, you know? So it's like, and he wasn't scoring, so you can't even have him out there, you know? And he can't demand a max from them. Like, you know, or you can't give him a max if he was to demand it. So it's like, I don't think the Lakers should, like, I don't know if they should necessarily stand pat, but I don't know if they should, like, blow up everything for another star. Because look how that worked out for Phoenix. You yeah. gave up all of your depth. You got KD, and that's cool, but you didn't get any further this year than you did last year. You know? So, and look at Mikael Bridges in Brooklyn. I think he's going to be special over there. Because he's, he's got the one thing that you really want from a cat. He's a defender. Like, a really good one. And if you can play defense, bro, all that other stuff can come with it. You know, like Jimmy oh, Butler yeah, started out as a defensive stopper. And look what he's become, you know? So if you can play defense, like, sky's the limit. But, yeah, shout out to the Nuggets, man. Good Absolutely. Shit. Oh, and before we, before we even get off the Nuggets, um, I want to say congratulations to Carmelo Anthony on a Hall of Fame career. He just yes. announced his retirement. Mm. Yes, he did. I feel like the Nuggets shit on him. I love Jokic, but Jokic should not be wearing number 15. That number should have, they should have reserved that for when Melo retired, but it's going to get retired as Jokic's number, which sucks a little bit for Melo. Like, I saw somebody talking about it, like, is any team going to retire his number? And it kind of sucks because I don't know that. I think the Knicks should. I thought the Nuggets should have. But, like, yeah. I don't know. I don't know, man. I'm, I'm glad knows, that man. Mel's getting his flowers, though, these last couple of days since the retirement. Maybe I, the Joker. I'm glad that people are talking about him. Maybe the Joker, cool. you know, somebody whispers in his ear, and, you know, maybe he changes his number to allow him to retire. I mean, 
Maybe. How long has the yeah, Joker been in the wanted... league? Oh, this has got to be like years six or seven. I know he's 28 years old. And right, he's, so he's not Serbia. that attached to the number. Well, I don't, and he seemed like one of them cats that wouldn't care. But yeah, I just wanted to give Melo his flowers. Love, love Melo since Syracuse. Like, this, like, he's a bucket, you know? Yes, he was, dude. Man. I, I don't know. I feel like people... His defense give him was a little suspect, that. though. His defense little was always a little suspect. Yeah. But I don't think people gave him the love that he deserved, though. When he no. Like, but he did have so. that incident where he punched somebody and ran away. He did. In New York, in the <laughs> garden. Big, <laughs> man, big man has <laughs> slugging somebody mm. and running away. Mm -hmm. hey. hey, that's NBA. Yeah, man. You, the same the eighties, where like Michael Jordan was choking Reggie Miller and shit, <laughs> like or like Doctor J choking Larry uh, Bird. Mm -hmm. You know, well, um, old boy Mark damn near killing Lambeer. Rudy Tom. Yeah, yeah. Old boy damn near killing Rudy Tom Tom bitch with that damn punch. Where oh, he put that, him in the hospital. Like he dude, literally almost died. Latrell Sprewell coaching out his one coach. Oh yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. Choked I wish, him see, out. I wish that. I wish social media existed back then, bro, because I'd love to see the video of that. So I'm listening to PJ Carlos about speak on like networks. I'm mm -hmm. like, I get why it's pretty well choked this motherfucker. <laughs> like, I see it. Because I would choke him too, bro. Like, oh, I get shit. it. I get it. That's why Spree Well was back in the league, bro. He got suspended. He was back because people was mm -hmm. like, you know what? You shouldn't have done it, but I get it. You know what I mean? He's, he's got he's a chokeable person, bro. It makes sense. So yeah. I get it. <laughs> oh man but hey folks this is all the time we have here at the lab thanks again for joining us if you guys are looking for any artwork please hit our hit my nephew nada his uh, info yes, is sir. in our bio yes sir and be sure to check out trap sex by nish he's the producer of their opening and outro track it's called trap sex you can find his music on soundcloud and youtube Yes, sir. All right, folks. Peace.